comparison between Bausnik's and Westergaard equation. You know that uh, I will write you, uh, you know Bausnik's theory that it gives an equation sigma z is equal to 3 by 2 pi q by z square 1 by 1 plus r by z square whole power 5 by 2. This is Bausnik's. Now coming to Westergaard. Here, uh, there is no nothing 3 by 2, uh, q by pi z square. But here you can found uh, 3 by 2 in the superscript. Now 1 plus 2, 2 is there, r by z square whole square. So this is the difference between the equation. But uh, the interest here is we need to compare these two values. Okay. So if you started comparing a Bosnick's theory with Westergaard theory when it comes to values of vertical stress. Usually many times uh, sigma z obtained from Bosnick theory gives higher value than sigma z obtained from Westergaard theory. So Bosnick's theory obviously gives a higher value of vertical stress as compared to Westergaard theory. So this is uh, proved already. So many times if you open the textbook, they are trying to prove it. IB is greater than IW. IB means influence value. So the constant value is there 3 by 2 pi into 1 by that we are trying to call as IB. So here also we can write uh, IW. Someone can ask me sigma z is equal to IW into Q by z square. So now what is IW? Influence value of the Westergaard equation. Now I can comfortably write now 1 by pi. 1 by pi. 1 by 1 plus 2 r by z square whole power 3 by 2. Now, I, uh, once again, I am telling you this 3 by 2 is now jumped to uh, superscript. Now, you cannot see this 3 by 2 here. Now, 3 by 2 is here only. There is no 5 by 2. But here it is 2 is there. So, uh, this I can help you. This I can help you. But I am not recommending this equation. In any case, I am not recommending this equation. You please, uh, my humble appeal to all the students, don't remember this equation. This is enough for us. This, even not this equation. This is enough for us. But uh, what we, what I'm showing, this is enough for us. If you are uh, discussing Westergaard, you please uh, limit your study up to this equation. Uh, don't uh, rely on this because it's a big equation. But what I want to show you, uh, the fourth assumption I want to highlight. What is the fourth assumption where the soil is laterally confined? Then mu is zero. When mu is zero, uh, this equation becomes simpler, uh, easy to write. Q by pi z square. So it's 2 is there, 3 by 2 is there. There is no 3 by 2 here. Now, so let me tell you, uh, when you compare the vertical stress obtained from Bosnick and Westergaard, it is evident that Bosnick's theory gives higher value of vertical stress than Westergaard theory. So let this is point load. No doubt it is acting on the ground surface. It's acting on the ground surface. Now what I have to do now is, I need to calculate a vertical stress. This is the axis of the loading at any depth z. Now, if you see here the variation of vertical stress, one can see now. This is already discussed. This is influence diagram. So the way vertical stress is uh, varying on a vertical, uh, vertical on a horizontal plane. So now you see uh, this is the what I say uh, vertical stress due to Bosnick's theory due to Bausnick's theory. So in the same way, if you calculated a vertical stress on a horizontal plane using Westergaard theory, it is true that it is true that Westergaard theory gives lesser value of vertical stress as compared to Bausnick's theory. So if you see here, sigma z due to Westergaard theory. So after calculation of the vertical stress, after calculation of the vertical stress, uh, we realized that uh, sigma z Bausnick gives higher value than sigma z Westergaard. It is true. But it is very interesting to note, it is up to r by z, up to r by z 1.5. Here in the any direction, up to r by z 1.5. That means 
R is equal to 1.5 times Z. R is equal to 1.5 times Z. Okay, so up to a radial distance is equal to 1.5 Z, sigma Z is greater, uh, greater than greater than sigma z b but it is true that once r by z this is valid up to r by z 1.5 if r by z greater than 1.5 you try this actually sigma z w is greater than sigma z boss 60 sigma z Boltzmann's theory the thing will be reversed here you see i am showing this contra flexure you can see here so at a depth here up to r is equal to 1.5 z sigma z is greater uh, sigma z from Boltzmann's is greater whereas if r by z is more than 1.5 the vertical stress calculated from westward is more than Boltzmann's theory i am telling about comparison between Comparison between Bausnick's theory, Bausnick's theory, and Westergaard theory. Bausnick's theory and Westergaard's theory. Comparison between Bausnick's theory and Westergaard's theory. So, as long as if you were R by Z is uh, up to 1.5. Uh, no doubt, Boltzmann's theory gives higher value of stress. Once if R by Z is exceeding 1.5, uh, R by Z is exceeding 1.5, Westergaard's theory gives higher value of vertical stress than Boltzmann's theory. So this is very clear here. You can see here. Uh, I have one gate question. Uh, very recently, it was appeared in gate examination. You can see the vertical stresses calculated uh, you, by Boltzmann's theory and Westergaard theory. Yet a particular point will be identical when R by Z ratio is equal to. See, it is interesting to tell you at, at R by Z 1.5, at R by Z 1.5, if you substitute R by Z 1.5, both the theories give same value. Sigma Z B is equal to Sigma Z double. So once again, I will tell you if R by Z is 1.5, Sigma Z B is equal to Sigma Z double. So, if R by Z less than 1.5, obviously Boltzmann's theory is higher than Westergaard theory. If R by Z greater than 1.5, Westergaard's theory gives higher value of vertical stress than 